Hi, folks, what's up? Welcome back to another Poem Masters video. So, the JP Twitter for Poem Masters just tweeted out the producer's letter date, right? Out for all those who are asking, and a lot of people were asking and anticipating. So, here we go. We got the date. It is coming out on June the 28th. Uh, I'd assume that's JST, right? So, if you're PDT, that's on the 27th, I believe. Anyway, time zones are weird, but yeah, it should come around reset time, right? Uh, somewhere around reset time, and there you go, folks. So now you know when it's coming out. So, anyways, that's what we with this one. I hope you guys are all my guys are gonna go. All right, jokes aside. Um, well, 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 well it, it is coming out on the twenty eighth. That's that's not part of the joke. It's uh, but uh, outside of that, there are some slightly interesting things that we should talk about uh over here, right? And the first thing is, so there, the update is going to be about stuff that are from the end of June to the end of July. So it's only one month worth of stuff. It doesn't seem like they're going to be talking about like more anniversary stuff or whatever, right? Because they did, again, they did specify end of June to end of July things, right? Which is fine. So yeah, the other slightly interesting part is because usually around like the 28th 29th 30th that's like when we usually get our like data download data mine stuff so this could either be before the data mine or like a day before the data mine or like right after the data mine or like on the day of the data mine so that could potentially either spoil things <laughs> or well spoil things it's it's official which is the data mine on the other hand not as much um so so that's slightly ironic but yeah, you could either spoil the data mine beforehand or make it so that data mine comes first and then dev lighter, everyone already knows what's <laughs> in it through the data mine stuff, right? So uh, it is also in like a slightly interesting time frame, right? Or I could be wrong and the data download is going to come like either much, much sooner or much, much later. But anyways. The other interesting thing about this is the graphic that they put over here. And if you're wondering, yo, it must be something about these words, right? No, it's not. It's just Katakana for a producer's letter. Uh, and down here is obviously just the date. So the slightly interesting about this is the graphic, the background colors. And if you're in what the heck, it's just three colors. It probably just there to look nice which is possible which is possible it could be nothing it could just be they're putting it there to look nice which is possible right however it could also be maybe foreshadowing a a unit that's coming next month because again this producer's letter is only talking about stuff that's coming next month right and these colors are i'd say pretty associated with at least three pokemon characters right or trainers whatever you want to call them and let's let's talk about them right so these colors this dark blue i guess brown reddish kind of color i know again i'm not good at colors it's just brown red whatever right and then white so it does remind you or it could remind you of these two guys emmett and ingo the subway bosses in gen 5 right the battle subway guys and yeah, I mean, as you can see, you got the uh, they 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 share this red brownish color, right? They both have the same color over there, and then Ingo is the rest of him is like dark blue, and then the rest of Emmett is white, which does line up with this. As you can see, the middle color is the color that they share. The one on the bottom right is is the one that Ingo has, and then the one on the top right or top right, top left is what Emmett has, right? So it could be these two. It could definitely be these two. And if this is the case, first of all, what? <laughs> Why are they teasing these guys? Like, who cares? Uh, however, these two are, like, are really, really popular in Japan for some reason. I don't know why. Like, I do not. Like, these two are incredibly boring characters, I thought, at least personally. Um, like, even, like, the, you mean, it's, uh, to be fair to them, they're just sort of, like, battle facility guys but for the most part most battle facility characters are quite boring but i'd say they're more boring than like a lot of the other battle facility people like leon or palmer or or you know annabelle 
some you know the Paul and Battle Frontier guys. Like they're even more boring than those <laughs> Caitlyn, whatever, right? But yeah, again, apparently they're really popular in Japan. I don't know why. Um, I think it's kind of weird, but whatever, right? I'm not gonna judge what they like or what people like. But yeah, uh, they could be teasing these two, I guess. <laughs> sure. <laughs> Yay. Um, but yeah, in terms of what they could potentially have, I guess, we're going to look at their roster over here. Right? Because they uh, they have some stuff. They have some stuff. So, this guy's the dub doubles guy, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. This guy's doubles guy. This guy has is single guy. So, double guy obviously has, has one more, you know, unit generally. And if we're looking through these... Looking at some of these, obviously Chandler already in the game, Haxus already in the game. Garbodor and Kling Clang, I I don't think they're gonna get it, because Kling Clang is more of a colorist, you know, Pokemon, right? And I think if Colorist is gonna come to game, you might have Kling Clang. You know, if he doesn't have like a legendary like Genesect or whatever, right? He could most likely get Kling Clang. And Garbodor is most likely going to be Oleana's Pokemon, I'd, I'd, I'd think, right? So I guess the options over here are just like Crustle and Excadrill. And also kind of think they might want to like be saving Excadrill for like a Clay Alt or something. So like I guess Crustle would be like the best option over here. And then for Emmett, it probably would be um, by that same process, either Durant or Electros. I don't... I don't know if they're going to give, like, unless they make, like, Crestle, like, a rock type, primary rock type, and then, like, make Durant, like, a bug type, because it'll be also kind of awkward if they just release two bug types. But, yeah, I guess those could be options when they battle together. They also get, like, Galvantula over there, Archops, um, among other things, right? But, yeah, they don't have, like, too many Pokemon, honestly. So... Of the ones that they have, obviously you can't have Girder. Well, I won't say you can't have, but the chance is not very likely because we already have a Kelder in the game. I guess Galvantula could also be an option. Like they, they could just like share two out of, you know, or not share. Just they could each take one out of like the three bugs that they have, right? Maybe Excadrill, maybe Clang Clang. Again, if they decide to give colorist like a legendary or whatever right mythical so yeah those uh those are those two i guess could they like potentially come like a double banner maybe or could they be free i don't know but again they are like super 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 popular in japan so maybe they might not make it free and make it a banner but yeah or they could oh what if they what if they um what if they also add them to like new villa stages wouldn't that be interesting as well right that'll be a, yeah that'll, that'll, that'll be fun new villa stages and then you'll have ingo and emmett in there as well or like maybe villa co-op stage or whatever so yeah that's one of the possibilities the other possibility is if you look at those these colors it could also be another you know character guy that some of you guys might know called Hugh. this one's slightly a bit more far-fetched because it's the colors don't match as well as these two like these the, these two the colors match almost perfectly Hugh's colors don't match that map don't match that perfectly his hair his pants is definitely the i won't say definitely but pretty close to the bottom right color over there and his shirt is isn't completely white unless it's just like the lighting i guess but i'd say it's pretty white so you could have that the slight issue is he has red on but this red is very 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 different from whatever this red brown thing is right so yeah i guess it could also be hug um but i think it's slightly more likely that it's not right but anyways assuming it is hug we've got some options over here let's just jump to the final battle i guess uh for some reason it's not jumping for me help jump jump ah there we go all right so in here the big ones that i've been hearing people 
want would be either Unpheasant, Flygon, or Electros. I guess Bolfalon could also be possible, right? But but one of at least these four. Uh, obviously, Unpheasant, Bolfalon, and Electros are Unovan Pokemon. He doesn't have to have Unovan Pokemon, but I mean, like Wally is a rival, and he got like a Sinnoh Pokemon, right? Uh, although it evolves from a home Pokemon, technically. But yeah, like okay, well, let's let's just check the rivals out. Blue got a Kanto Pokemon that checks out. Silver got a Jota Pokemon that checks out. Wally got a Hoenn Pokemon that evolved into a Sinnoh Pokemon, which checks out. Sorta right. Barry got a Sinnoh Pokemon. Charon and Bianca both got Unovan Pokemons. Wouldn't have any of the rivals in. In, in in well, I guess Caleb maybe counts like sort of as a rival, and he got a uh, a Kalos uh, Kalos Pokemon, and how got a Lolan Raichu. <laughs> so maybe they're trying to like stick these rivals to their like region in terms of Pokemon. And if that's the case, then obviously of these three, and Pheasant, and Electros, and Bolfalon, obviously Electros would be the best option, assuming it's a damage dealer, right? Because if it's not a damage dealer, then it doesn't really matter, right? Uh, but if it's a damage dealer, please don't give us normal type damage dealers, right? Please don't give us normal type damage dealers, uh, unless they make a unpheasant like flying, which I would say the chance of unpheasant being flying is much much higher than unpheasant being normal. So <laughs> I won't worry too much about that. But yeah, if it is Electros, that could be another electric unit, I guess, right? Oh my god, it's another wild charge. No, don't give it wild charge. I think we're good with a wild charge. Make it, uh, yeah, make make it a special. Like, we honestly don't have that many, like, special electric damage heroes. We have, like, Hau, I guess Pikachu, if you want to count that, but, like, Zipstrike, uh, Zekrom, uh, Luxray, they're all physical. <laughs> give it some special, um, special electro type units. That would be nice, right? But, yeah. That's the issue at hand. Again, Flygon could also be possible. Personally, I like Flygon because I like Flygon a lot. <laughs> right? But, yeah, if it's Flygon, uh, hopefully it's ground type instead of, like, dragon. Because uh, I think we have enough dragons. Right? Honestly. <laughs> so, yeah. Anyways, we'll uh, we'll see in a few days. Right? I mean, he, he's been in the trailer before. We'll see you in a few days. I think that's coming in, what, three days or so, right? But, yeah, bit of a hint, bit of a hint. Got the date as well. So, anyways, that's for this one, I guess. Hope you guys are Let me guys think in the comments down below. Like, if you enjoyed this video, subscribe to my channel for some more Pokemon Masters content. I'll see you guys in the next one.